In a modern world, we've been fully programmed to tackle our boredom. We treat as if boredom is our enemy that we need to get rid of. And the world has done a pretty good job at convincing you that you don't have to be bored when you have this. Wait, does this automatically focus? That's pretty cool, if it does. Anyways, we got endless entertainment. Social media make us craving for attention and validation. And porn makes us feel as if we are loved. We know it's definitely fake, but somehow we still crave for it anyways, right? But what if I tell you that boredom is actually a superpower? It world where they convince you that you don't have to be bored. And no, this is not the usual dopamine detox and stop playing with your phone, even though you should and you should have listened to your mom back then. But uh, stick until the end because I'm gonna talk about the boredom paradox. And by the end of the video, you will learn how to turn boredom into a superpower that you can harness and learn to live a much more fulfilled life. So like and subscribe. Now, first off, most of you guys have been gutting it wrong when it comes to boredom because you think that boredom is a problem, but it was actually the opposite. Boredom is a solution. So whenever when you're on the phone, the only thing that your brain could think of is the content in this phone. And your brain goes on into this like autopilot focus mode. Sure, you might not feel bored at that time, but your brain is occupied and doesn't have the ability to think of anything at all. But when you're not on your phone, which basically means that your brain is unoccupied, right? Our brain enters this state of like mind wandering that allows ideas and creative thoughts to emerge. It's like literally your subconscious mind has the ability to finally speak up when you shut off the noise of distraction. If you're watching this far, you might feel a little bored right now, right? Because I've set this video to be a little bit boring because your brain is so not used to being bored. So whenever you feel bored, just like just now, your brain starts to think that there is something wrong because you need to fill yourself with more dopamine. Like right now, you literally felt the urge to click off this video and watch another video isn't it? And for people that have already clicked off, they already failed the task. Because what if for once, you tell your brain like, no, no dopamine at all today, no dopamine at all. Because if you keep on feeding your brain with dopamine, there's literally no point in watching this video. In fact, I want you to do a quick challenge right now. It only takes like 10 to 15 minutes to do. And I bet most of you guys that's watching this probably won't do it because it's literally boring as f bro. But trust me, just do it. Like that's the point of the whole video, right? If you don't try it by at least feeling bored, then what's the point? <laughs> of watching this video bro so give it a try real quick right now like after listening to this you can simply pause this video and immediately try this okay so find a comfortable place to sit no stimulation at all no phone no tv no music playing in the background and on your phone just set a timer for like 10 minutes and what i want you to do for the next 10 minutes is to simply close your eyes and focus on your breath that's it. Now, quick disclaimer here. If you have to know that this is agonizingly painful, bro. It's not like physical pain, but time will pass very, very slowly and you will feel so bored, bro. Your brain will kind of like beg you to just open your eyes and check the timer to see how many time you have left. But trust me, your timer is working fine. Your phone is working fine. Just close your eyes and wait just for 10 minutes. Now, come back to this video again when you're done. Just pause this video. Now, for those of you guys who haven't done like the 10 minute challenge, bro, do it now. And you might think, what the f is this guy on about? I doing sh but trust me if you don't do that like there's no point in watching this video you're gonna stay addicted to your phone you're not gonna learn anything now for those of you that comes back to this video what do you feel you feel this like sense of calmness revolving around your body isn't it notice how that boredom your brain that begged you just like simply open your eyes but you didn't listen to it and like after like the five minute mark everything just started to shift in your favor and this is what i call like the boredom paradox which i mentioned early in my video right is when you thought that boredom is killing you, but it's actually bringing you a lot of blessings. I mean, literally see how your state right now, your mind was like screaming left and right, begging you to fit your, fit your brain with more dopamine right now. You're calmer than ever. In a world where people see boredom as your enemy, see it as your friend, see it as an opportunity to actually train your attention span for just like 10 to 20 minutes a day, that's it. And let's not forget about the fact, like when you're bored, ideas, creativity will start flowing in your mind and that's just truer than ever. And when you do this practice, which I mentioned earlier, like 10 to 20 minutes, just sitting and closing your eyes, focusing on your breath, you start to bring your dopamine back to its normal level. And once you do that, every single thing that you do, every simple thing, will make you like feel better, much, much better. Like reading, walking in the park, working out, etc. All of those are bringing natural dopamine in your body. Now in this modern world where everyone is trying to take your attention away, I want you to be very, very aware of it. 
especially when you feel bored. Like from time to time, whenever you're feeling bored, you will subconsciously still browse YouTube source or like TikTok. But the more you're aware of this, you'll be able to turn boredom into your very own superpower. Again, boredom is not your enemy. Boredom is your best friend and use it to your advantage to become the best man possible. Now, if you're looking to improve your life, I have more videos over here. You can check that out. And uh, remember, if you go easy in life, then life be hard. But if you go hard in life, then life will be easy. Find comfort in this comfort. See you in the next video. Cheers.